Good day, good day, it's Bart Millie here and welcome back to our Aston Martin Motorsport Manager F1 2021 Manager Mod Save. So Monaco today, very exciting race. First of all, welcome back to the series. Um, today's episode is of course Monaco, as previously mentioned. I'm looking forward to this race. We're going to try something a bit different with it though. Um, we're going to turn down our weight stripping. So we're not going to, just to sort of make the game a bit harder again. In fact, I don't even think we're going to weight strip at all because we're just smashing the AI. So we're going to see, because I, I want to avoid boosting the AI cars up too much. I mean, this is sort of bringing us down to their level instead of bringing them up to our level. Which, I mean, we're going to give it a go and see, because, you know, going into the files, it's just, I don't like playing around in the save game file if I don't have to, but that being said, we'll see how we go. But yeah, Monaco today, make sure to leave a like on the video if you're on the series, and subscribe if you're not already, but I'm sure you already are. Follow me on Twitter, and um, leave all your thoughts, feedback, suggestions down in the comments below. I reply to every comment. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's get straight into Monaco today. Alright, so one day to Monaco, we do have an FIA vote, though, to get rid of Suzuka. Um, which is, you know, not ideal. How many voting power do I have? How much? Seven votes. I'm going to go one against, just because I, I like having the races that we have on the calendar. You know, I don't really see a need to change it. Toto Wolf doesn't want it, though. Uh, neither does Horner. Neither does the McLaren boss. I didn't really even try to pronounce that name. Tossed. It looks like it would get rejected here at will. So we will keep Suzuka on the track, which is great. Someone actually used two votes. They really wanted it on the track. I was going to abstain. I probably could have in the end. We didn't really need my vote. But time to travel to Monaco. I have. We did finish that engine, um, which I've also improved to 100% reliability. It's pretty good now. 1645. And then that means that Norris is, instead of using the 1546, you can use the 1606. So really good there. Um, and we also finished a rear wing, and now we're just working the reliability for that. 1648, and um, yeah, Norris can move up to Russell's old wing, and we're also working on a new front wing for next time out at Baku. So, it's all going on. Um, we're the best in every area again, which is fantastic to see. Again, like I said, we're not going to try any weight stripping this time around. Um, yeah, leave Stroll at home, you know, takes away two days. The guy's injured for two years. I don't think two days is going to be much... Of an impact, but um, yeah, fun nonetheless. Equal driver, and I reckon. Yeah, okay. But um, yeah. Look, heavy rain in practice means practice will be useless unless rain translates to quality and race. But I'll see you for Q3. All right, Q3 in Monaco. Now Q2 was a bit better competitive-wise. Uh, Russell was P1 by about two tenths, and um, oh, bit of rain there as well. But uh, Russell was Q1 by two tenths over Gasly. And Norris is down in fifth. So a bit more realistic. We'll take that. Hopefully, um, we have a bit of a race today. Uh, but apart from the last, you know, as opposed to the last three. But now we are hoping for three run, uh, for two runs here before the rain. Um, I think we could do it because it's such a short lap around Monaco. But um, I don't know if we'll get back to... Oh, no, they're coming back to the pits now. So we want a super soft run. And then we're going to send them out on the softs. Come on, get in the garage. There we go. And I, I don't think this will be a very clean run. But we're trying it nonetheless. And send out. Send him out on a fresh set of softs. Come on, Norris. Got to get around pretty quickly, matey. He's gonna, it's going to start raining at the start of his lap. Slow him down a little bit. But he's still going to improve in the first two. And Gasly will take our spot on pole position. Norris down in ninth. So... This is probably, we've bitten off a bit more than we can chew right now with the weight stripping. Um, we're probably, we can still obviously do it in the rain tomorrow. But I mean, at least in Q3, we've given ourselves a bit of a challenge, no matter what happens. I mean, we're not going to set a fast lap now. So Gasly's on pole. We'll take second as they go out and wet. So there's a monsoon conditions here. But um, yeah, it's a bit disappointing to see that we have to smash them or we have to basically lose to them. We can't just, just sort of have a good, good beat battle. But we're a second behind him here, which isn't great, really. A second. Bloody hell. But, um, yeah, we'll do, I think we'll do a little bit of weight stripping because it's a bit... Yeah. They, they are. We're not. So, let's do it. So, continuing on, I'll see you for the race. All right. Race day. So, straight away, click through this. And on the right, weight stripping. Let's just chuck the engine down to 80. Chuck the suspension down a little. No, let's just do the crucial parts and the engine, actually. 
That's not a bad little plan we got going on there. So chuck the brakes down to 80. We won't go below 80. How about that as a general rule of thumb? Just chuck it down to 80 and apply it to the other car. I think that's a decent level of weight stripping without going completely over the top as they've actually released the restriction on tyres. And when it rains in practice... Oh my days, it's actually going to rain quite a bit today. So... And I did think that when it rains in practice, it does sometimes sneak into the actual weekend, which we've seen here, the competitive side of the weekend, even though the forecast said clear. But here we go, five red lights, second and ninth. Not the best Q3, but sort of deliberately. Good start from Russell, and he should be able to beat Gasly pretty quickly here. He's going to send it down his outside, though, but he actually gets overtaken by Daniel Ricciardo, the Australian. And Charles Leclerc is going to look to follow him through with Schumacher, his teammate behind him. Norris up into 6th already. He's got the two Ferraris up in front of him. And Science gets a penalty for some reason. Um, I just saw it pop up there. Russell's still down in 3rd. We are struggling today as both Ferraris pass. And wow, the wet pace is not with us, obviously. Uh, Lewis Hamilton has crashed out. And his nightmare starts the season has continued. He's not even a rival anymore. But um, speaking of our rivals, they are... Oh, we're under investigation. And we got a time penalty. Norris has cut corners. So this is just going from bad to worse, really. Um, for us, we're falling down the grid and getting penalties. So you do get that, though. Um, the weight stripping has it seemed to make the cast worse, to be honest. But here we go. We're fighting with Schumacher. It would be good if we can get back past Shuey. And he does. Sort of skipped it. But we got the general gist of it. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. All these camera changes are making him feel a bit sick. But we're trying to make a move on Leclerc here. As the Red Bulls are fighting at the top, giving Leclerc a sniff. And then we're going to try and go down the other side of both of them. And this rain is really, really heaving down, isn't it? It's good to see as we go down the beautiful overtake by Russell. That's how exactly you want to do it. Down the inside. And now we're going to try one down the inside of Ricardo Or the outside. You know, it depends what Russell's feeling. But Leclerc's going to send it down. And we are, this is good good fighting going on here at the front. Zoom forward a little bit. We're down in a fourth. Hopefully Schumacher doesn't get past. Or else we're going to be stuck in sort of a loop. Where we're trying to fight back from fifth place all the time. Um, he's complaining about not being past, be able to get past Leclerc. But there's not much I can really do. I almost want to pit them and get them out of this fight. So then we can just, you know, we'll probably overtake everyone if we get them out of this squabble. But I don't think that's going to work for us. I don't think we'll get through to the end of the race if we do that. I mean, the end of the wet period. It's almost worth taking the pit stop, though, you know. Because we keep squabbling and losing position. Do we make a move here? Do you remove Russell from this fight? We'll see how we go in the next lap. Because then if you run in clean air, I mean, it won't be clean. You'll send back into traffic back there. And we're just getting hounded here by the Ferraris, who are probably going to keep squabbling. So I think I am going to pit. Um, it gets to about slicks at lap 39 anyway. You know what? Let's just push on these tyres and kill these tyres into the ground. And then we'll pit. So give all you got, Russell. Give these tyres everything you got. And then we can have to be pretty conservative on the next set. Get to the end of the wet period. But at least hopefully we'll be in clear air somewhat. And then we can take it back. Oh, safety car. See, lucky on a pit. Whoa, came through there. Um, recharge, safe. Um, back up, low, pits, uh, recharge battery, yep, and safe, pits, recharge low, order on, doot, doot, alright, that is that, I think that's our safety car preparation done, and our boys are actually in 4th and 5th, I don't know how that, how did Norris get past Russell, I'm so confused, who crashed out, Oscar, poor bloke, um, but everyone's going to come into the pits here, looks of it, by the looks of it, I should say. How about third place? Yep, we're all pitting. Hopefully, we, we're going to have to double stack here, but so Ferrari, we're going to see what happens. Norris is going to come in, hopefully a quick stop. It is going to be quick. Oh, and he pretty much collides there, but we are going to get overtaken by Schumacher in the pits. Disappointing, um, in all honesty. I don't know how that happened, but... You do get that, but um, yeah, Norris in a good position here in fourth. Hopefully, we can catch up to Gasly up there. Surely, I mean, it's safety car. Yeah, the gap's slowly going down. We're going to zoom ahead a little bit. I actually haven't cut away from this this race yet, but right now it's a bit action packed. I'm loving all the fighting, 
this is a real race where I have to actually ask questions of my strategy, not just send them out there and conserve tires, you know what I mean? But Monaco, it always, always, well, not always delivers, but it can deliver. It can be a great race, and we're seeing one today, an absolute classic. So, Russ, I'm excited for Nor Norris here. He can do something serious, for real. And that, look at how much fuel we've saved up with Russell. That's insane. All right, time to save on the battery, though. As the safety car is going to look to return to the garage. And we've missed the boat a little bit there. Oh, no. I remember someone giving me a comment that I should have warmed up the tyres before the safety car ended. Oh, well, well, we can't really go back in time. But here we go. Norris in fourth place. What can he do? Chuck it in two times. He's holding back Schumacher. But he gets... Phew, Schumacher sent one down the inside of Norris, but Norris used that opportunity to get past Leclerc, and Russell's going to go down the inside of his teammate. They almost touch, though, and they're still squabbling, and this is what you don't like to see, as Norris then just slingshots away from Russell and sets his sights on the Red Bulls, but Russell's going to come back at him, and we've got to stop pushing these tyres, or else they're not going to make it. Um to the dry period, but zoom ahead a little bit here. We've got to get this race going a, a tad. And I'm not liking what I'm seeing here, lads. It looks like we're sort of holding up Russell with Nara. So team orders might... No, it's actually the gap's ex expanded a little bit, so it should be fine. As Nara is actually looking like... Oh, Callum Eilert's out. That's another one. Joining the long list of now three drivers crashed out in 27 laps. As Norris is struggling to get past Ricardo, well, it helps if you're close to him. You're about two and a half seconds back. You, you're not going to just teleport in front of him randomly, are you? Verstappen in the lone Mercedes now, after Hamilton crashed out, he's actually doing decently. But Russell's going to try and come and take Norris's position. I'm going to tell him to conserve and give him a bit of power. It doesn't matter, he's too far back. You know, just not complete team orders. Um, uh, we're losing too much time. Allow teammate throw. So, this is the first time this series I've used team orders, but w Russell's winning streak is on the line here. So, we got a talent on the let him through. So, at uh, the nearest opportunity, Lando, please let Russell pass. Okay. Um, Russell, you have to sort of get close to him, and then he'll let you pass. You know what I mean? Okay, I'll let George through now. Cheers. All right, now just let let him stay in front as well. Champion Lando for the team. And as you see, hopefully Russell will pull away. If not, we have to switch him back. That's the rule in F1. Um, and Russell's actually being a bit of a a roadblock. Come on, Russell. where Where's your pace been today? We let him in front and he's just sat there. All right, look, you got until lap 45. If you're not at least a second away from Norris, Norris gets that position back. All right, he's done it. Okay, it's alright. It's alright. Oh, no, battery. Bloody hell. I don't know how long that was like that for, but anyway. And my tyres are looking pretty worse for wear, but that's so the AIs. We're actually doing better than the AIs. Gasly pits onto a fresh set of Inters. The absolute spud. Oh, no, he's biffed it there. As I don't know why he's done that. Um, he's four seconds behind us, though. So, look, I don't think we'll be able to take advantage of it too much, but... No, it's pretty funny nonetheless. We are going to pit the boys now on slicks. It's time for slicks for sure. I don't know, yeah, Gasly is... Oh no, Gasly's on Inter, so yeah, he's going to have to pit anyway. So yeah, we do actually get an up on him. I, th I just sort of thought, oh, he's already up behind us. But yeah, he's going to go into slicks still. So track position gained on Gasly. Now what can we do here is we're going to have to double stack because bloody Russell could not get any further in front of Norris in about a second, but that's all right. Now they're allowed to race. Let them race. It's... Gloves are off. Whatever happens, happens. I just... Uh, Russell was not much faster than Norris, so that's why I then passed. But right now, as things stand, we're in the lead because Gasly's going to have to pit. Um, he can't finish the race on Inters because it's going to get dry. Um, so that's a good news for us. And Norris will actually get past Ricardo. And look, it's looking like after... Even not even weight stripping, we're still in this great spot for a 1-2 here. Anything can still happen. But Norris has put in a great race today. Russell's managed to put in a decent race. I wouldn't say it's his best. But a Spartan master, Masterclass. No, more like a, an AI 
I was going to say an inappropriate word there, but um, feces show. We'll call it a feces show on a PG channel. <laughs> Their strategy has been terrible with Gasly, which, I mean, it's becoming kind of a pattern, isn't it? Oh, my God. George. You silly bugger. How do you do that? Look, his front wing's in the ground. Ooh. That is in a, that's a red flag, surely. Oh, it's a safety car. And, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time this series, we could have a, a second driver win a race. Bad news for Russell, but, hey, look, he's got a couple points he can throw away. But Lando could close the gap. We could actually have an equal championship battle here. Lando could win this race. Could. And I, not if I do that again. Um... Yeah, look, I'm not giving him the best chance to have. I've completely missed the restart, but he knows what he's doing. So, he'll take off. Go on high there. And, yeah, he's pulling away now nicely. Good restart from Lando. Not so much from me, but he's managed to cope with it. And, hopefully, we can get him through to the end of this race. Russell, you've buggered that car, haven't you, mate? That does not look too good. It's glowing. But... Uh, conserve those tyres. Alexander Albon's crashed out now. Man, this is a great race for, for crashes, but not so great for our boy. Look, George. Georgie. Now, you're allowed a few mistakes. In a race where Hamilton crashes out, you sort of know that it's a tough race conditions. But Norris, four laps to go. Isn't it funny that a different driver is going to win a race, yet the same anthem's going to play? That's an all-British team for you, isn't it? Two laps to go is George... God, I can't even get my drivers right. As Lando Norris will start his final lap. Whew, what a race today in Monaco. Um, yeah, look, I don't know how we managed to win this race. It should have been a 1-2. Russell crashed out. Under no pressure whatsoever. His front wing got stuck in the curb. But here he comes. Lando around the last couple corners. Lando Norris. Welcome to the team, son. To win a race. And he's just his fifth race for the team. Brilliant win. Anthem's playing. Great job. And we win our fourth race out of five. And yeah, check it, flag, Lando. Beautiful work. We'll take that. Wait, what? The time penalty. Oh, no, Lando. I thought he served it at his pit stop. That last safety car stuffed it. Daniel Ricciardo wins the race. Oh, no. Free Lando there. 10 second time penalty for a corner cut. What a joke. All right, well, you heard him. FIA. Um, and it's a... How? We were in a 1-2 in that race and end up being a Red Bull 1-2. That just goes to show the world of Formula 1 is a cruel, cruel world. But fair play to them. They were there. But there is a fight with Red Bull this season. And, um, yeah, fair play. Daniel Ricciardo, congratulations. Um, I'm still a bit shaken up from that, but Anthem cut short. Our, our celebrations are cut short. Yeah, that's Monaco. All right. I would put money on this interview being about the team orders. Yes, there it is. They're a part of life. They're a part of life, all right? Man, I, I'm... Such a good gambler. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Front wing finished. Beautiful work. Let's build the next part, which I'm honestly not even sure what to build anymore. Let's build a gearbox. We can always use more gearbox. That's one of the areas where I don't like to build because um, it takes quite a bit to build a gearbox, like time-wise. So I try and put it off, but really we just always need it. It's the, our weakest part, I think. So there we go. Um, gearbox being built. We'll work on the reliability in the front wing for Baku. In three days, back-to-back -back Monaco Baku. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I sh certainly did. Even though it wasn't the best result for us, it was just great to be able to race again. Actually have some strategy involved. Which, by the way, nothing was wrong with our strategy. It was just two driver errors cost us big time. Um, literally cost us all the points today. I mean, we got 15. But from what we are going to get maximum points so you know it's, it's disappointing but it's also great to see someone else win a race and red bulls were there today so i mean the safety car period helped them out a lot helped them close the gap so yeah fair play it's a shame for lando um to lose his win after we thought he won but um yeah you, you gotta just not cut corners really it's the first time this year is someone's cut a corner and been penalized for it so rough but you know we move on hopefully bounce back in baku 
Norris hopefully is fast again, and Russell hopefully he he had about a weekend this weekend. Lost out on pole, slow in the race, only because Gasly made that mistake. He was even in the lead with the strategy. Um, Gasly obviously just messed up his strategy. So yeah, look, and then crashing out. It's bad weekend for Russell, but you're allowed them sometimes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave your thoughts on that amazing race in the comments below. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching.